Good morning, guys, and thank you for everyone who joined me on our Zoom meeting just now. Um, it was so nice to see you guys all again. I'm still recording our circle time for today just so we can still go over all the stuff we've been learning. So that's what I'm going to do a really short one today just because we did just do a mini circle during Zoom. So we'll do a tiny circle for now, too, as well. Ready? Let's sing hello. Hello. Cha cha cha, hello, cha cha cha, hello, and how are you? Cha cha cha, I'm fine, cha cha cha, I'm fine, cha cha cha, and I hope that you are too, cha cha cha. Okay guys, we actually have a brand new month today. Today is the first day of April. Can we say April? Ready? April. Good. So we'll sing our month song to learn our new month. Ready? We're in the month of April. We're in the month of April. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. We're in the month of April. We're in the month of April. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. So today is the first day of April. So let's figure out what day of the week it is. So yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Franklin's birthday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Now let's figure out what today is. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What? What day comes after Wednesday? I just realized I said that totally backwards, friends. I just didn't tell you it was. Oh my goodness. Let's try that again. Yesterday was Tuesday. <laughs> now let's figure out what today is. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. What? What day comes after Tuesday? It's Wednesday, right? I accidentally told you the answer. It's Wednesday. Can we say Wednesday? Ready? Wednesday. So today is Wednesday. Now let's figure out what tomorrow will be. We have Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. What? What day comes after Wednesday? It's Thursday, right? Can we say Thursday? Ready? Thursday. Good. So tomorrow will be Thursday. Now our year is still the same. What year is it, guys? Good. It's 2020. Can we say that together? Ready? 2020. Very good. Okay, so who remembers the name of our season? What season are we in? We're in spring, right? We are still in spring. Can we say spring? Spring. So it's still spring out a long time now because it just started. So let's go over our letter of the week. Who remembers the name of this <coughs> letter? What letter is this? It's the letter E, right? Can we say E, 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 and what sound does E make, guys? E says F, F. Can we say this together? Ready? F, F, like F, F, egg. Can we say F, F, egg? Very good. And we'll go over our sight word. Our sight word is S, T, O, what does S-T-O-P spell? It spells stop, right? Like stop at the red light. Could we say stop? Stop. Very good. Now we'll go over our word family. So remember, we started a new word family this week, and just like a lot of our other word families, the ending happens to be a word on its own. This is the A-T word family. What does A-T spell, guys? It was one of our really, really old sight words. Good. It spells at. Can we say at? Ready? At. Now we're going to add some letters on to make words with that. So if I put a C in front of it, what sound does the letter C make? C says ka, ka, right? Ka, ka. Now I'm going to add at to that. So I have ka, at. What word do we hear? It says cat, right? Can we say cat? Cat. Now I'm going to add an H. What sound does the letter H make? H says ha, ha, right? Ha, ha. Now 
Now we're going to add at. So I have at, at, at. What word is that? Good. It's hat. So we say hat. Ready? Hat. And now last, this is going to be our last word because I'm going to teach you a new one tomorrow. This is our last old one. We're going to put the letter S. What sound does us make? It says, right? Remember, it looks like a snake. It sounds like a snake too. It says, now we're going to add at. So we have s, at, s, at, s, at. What word is that? Good. It's sat. Can we say sat? Like I sat down. Good. So I'm going to say the words. They're going to repeat after me. Ready? At, at, cat, cat, hat, hat, sat, sat. Very good. Awesome job. Okay, so let's go over our shape of the month. Does anyone remember the name of this shape? What shape is this? Good, it's an oval. Could we say oval? Ready? Oval. And what do you guys remember about ovals? What do you remember about ovals? Right, ovals have curved sides, okay? Ovals have curved sides. Now remember, it's not round, okay? That's what makes the difference from a circle. Circles round like a ball, right? But this is not a circle. It does have curved sides, though. It almost looks like a squish circle, but it's not. It's not round, but it is curved. So one more time, can we say oval? Oval has curved sides. Very good. Here is our color of the month. What color is this again, guys? Good, it's yellow. Could we say yellow? Any yellow? This is the color yellow, right? Like our color of a lot of our flowers that are gonna be growing this month with all of our rain is yellow. Very good. So we're gonna go over our old numbers first and then we'll do our new numbers just because we've been learning so many. Remember, all of our numbers are gonna start with a one now. So I'm not gonna go in order, but we're gonna go over these numbers. What number is a 1 and a 2? What number is a 1 and a 2? Good, it's 12. Can we say 12? 12. Good, I'm going to change this to, to a 1. What number is it now? What number is a 1 and a 1? Good, it's 11. Can we say 11? 11. Good, I'm going to change the 1 to a 4. What number is this now? Good, I changed it to 14. Could we say 14, 14? Good, I'm gonna change this to a three. What number is it now? It's 13, right? Can we say 13, 13? Very good. So those are all of our old numbers. Now our new numbers also start with one, right? And our numbers are a one, our first one's a one and a five. What number is a one and a five? What number is a one and a five? Good, it's 15. Could we say 15, 15? And I'm gonna make a one and a six. What number is a one and a six? Good, it's 16. Could we say 16, 16? Or a time, 15, 15, 16, 16. Very good, guys. Awesome. So, we talked about this a little bit before, for those of you who are in our meeting, where we're going to continue to talk about how we use water. So, for people, right, we know we have to drink water, right? Franklin showed us with his water bottle. I have a glass of water here. I'm going to drink some water. All right, to make sure I stay hydrated. I know Alexis and Nicholas had used that word in their word list that we want to use water to stay hydrated, right? Which means we're not thirsty, okay? Because we can get dehydrated, which means we're super thirsty and it actually makes us sick, okay? That's dehydrated. We don't want to be that. We also use water to help keep ourselves clean, right? We could take a shower or a bath. We wash our clothes in water. We wash dishes in water, right? We use water to clean with. Now, animals drink water just like we drink water, but some animals actually live in water, right? We read the book The Rainbow Fish. Fish actually live in water. It's their home. And a lot of animals drink water too. Like when you saw the other day, I sent you guys a little mini video of Dusty drinking water. Animals drink water just like we do. 
Um, as we also know, plants use water because plants need water to help them make their food and to grow, right? So pretty much we, every living, th every living thing on earth needs water, okay? Without it, we wouldn't be able to survive. So water is very, very important. So we're going to read a book today all about what we can do with water. This book is called Water Can Be. So just looking on the front cover, what do we have here? We have little frogs right on their lily pads. So lily pads are a type of water that, I mean, oh my goodness, a type of plant that lives in water, okay? And then the frogs sit on the lily pads, right? So this water is all of their homes. So let's see what else water can do. Water is water. It's a puddle, pond, or sea. When springtime comes splashing, the water flows free. So why is that? Why is the water free in the springtime? Well, what happens to water in the winter? It freezes, right? And in the springtime, it gets warm, that frozen solid water melts, and then it flows free again. Water can be a tadpole hatcher. Look. Here's some tadpoles living in the water. They're baby frogs. Water can be a picture catcher. So if you look here, this girl is standing above the puddle and the puddle is reflecting. Ooh, we learned that water in our last unit. What does reflecting mean? Reflecting means, right, the light bounces off of it and we can see ourselves in things like a mirror, right? So this girl can see herself, her reflection in the water. Water can be an otter feeder. What is this otter eating? He's eating a fish, right? And the fish live in the water. It could be a downhill speeder. Ooh, look at that fast moving waterfall. Water can be a garden soaker. So look, here the rain is watering all of the plants. It could be a valley cloaker. Hmm. It's kind of hard to see in this picture, but it's fog, right? And we know fog is made up of water droplets. Water could be a thirst quencher, right? So here the deer is drinking water from the lake. It could be a kid drencher. So here we have kids playing in the sprinklers. Remember we said we can use water to have fun as well, right? Like we can fill water balloons, we can go to a water park, we can swim in it. It can be a drink cooler. So how do we get ice again? Who can tell me? What do we, how do we get ice? Right, our liquid water has to get cold, which then turns into a solid when it gets cold and it freezes and turns into ice. It can be a rainbow jeweler. We talked about this a little bit in our last unit too, right? How do we get a rainbow? Well, when we have water droplets and then the light shines through the water droplets, we can get a rainbow. It can be a homemaker, right? Look at all these animals who live in the water. It could be a shipbreaker. Ooh, look at that big wave. It's not very safe for that boat to be going out. Water is water. It's fog, frost, and sea. When autumn, remember that's another word for fall, comes chasing, Water could be a cloud fluffer, right? We know water droplets make up our clouds when they condense. It could be a fire snuffer. So here the fireman is using the hose to put out the water. I mean, to put out the fire with the water. It could be a school drinker. Now we don't have these, but for anyone who has big brothers and sisters in the elementary schools, they have water fountains, right? And you could drink water from a water fountain. It could be a brew shrinker. So this little boy has a boo-boo, okay? And his mom is putting ice on his boo-boo. We've done that in class before when people have gotten hurt, right? What it does is it helps the bruise, which is this dark spot, to go away, okay? That sometimes you get when you bump your leg. It can be a salmon highway. <laughs> salmon or fish, and they're jumping along the water here. Or an eagle flyway. 
It could be a storm creator. Ooh, look at this big snowstorm. Remember, we get snow when water freezes when it turns cold. Or a decorator. So here's frost. Okay, frost is little pieces of ice that form on our window when it gets cold out. It could be a woodchuck warmer or a snowman former, right? We need water to make snow. Like how did we build Olaf, right? We need snow. Water is water. It's ice, snow, and sea. Now go and discover what else it could be. Now this is pretty cool here. What they're doing, we actually saw this a little bit in My Big World with Clifford in like January, but these people are making ice sculptures, okay? What people do is they actually cut things out of ice, like a statue almost. And look at all the cool things they made out of the ice. The end. So this was another book about water. I'm going to attach some more videos today for you guys to learn about water. A little bit more. I'm also going to attach a sorting activity you can do, okay? Where you're going to sort animals into two categories. You're going to sort whether they live on land or whether they live in the water, okay? Because not every animal lives in the water, right? Like we certainly don't have cows in the water, um, but fish certainly can't live on land, right? So you guys are going to sort into the two categories for me, whether what the animal lives in water or whether it lives on land. Okay, and we're going to see how many animals have a home in the water. So that is it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our video this morning, um, and I'll hope to see you all next week when we have another Zoom meeting. Bye!